Okay, so I have a turret mill, which is um, just a, a standard pattern, follows the original Bridgeport, Bridgeport sort of concept, and it has uh, a quill operation by a lever. Typical sort of thing. Most of the time that's fine, but sometimes it gets a bit irritating, and I wish that I didn't have to do this. Okay, so instead of using the lever, which has to be repositioned to change its operating arc, which gets a little bit awkward, I've seen people switch over to replacing the lever with a steering wheel. I thought I'll give that a try. But the ones I've seen advertised as a complete kit, $150 US, and I'm in Australia, add shipping, very expensive. But I was able to find a steering wheel on eBay for $20 and I thought that'll do, we'll give it a try. In anticipation <coughs> I checked of uh, getting the steering wheel, I checked out how I was going to have to mount it. Obviously this piece just pulls off but I wanted to make sure in fitting the steering wheel I could easily revert back to that. But the way this thing works is there's this uh, bolt in the middle here is easily removed and then that gives me the opportunity to mount the steering wheel on there and put a bolt through here to hold it on so it doesn't come off. That's what I decided to do. The steering wheel that I bought is branded Momo but it doesn't have a look and feel of a quality item so I'm guessing it's some sort of Chinese knockoff. Anyway, came with a horn button of course and some wires, I'll be throwing those away. But the most important thing is the mounting uh, flange is flat with a, just a regular six hole pattern so it should be pretty easy to uh, match up to a, a hub that I'll knock up out of a piece of uh, some scrap steel that's lying around. Other thing to notice about the steering wheel though is that it isn't very deeply dished which means I shall have to put a bit of length into the hub adapter. So I made the hub adapter um, out of a piece of 40 nominal bore water pipe and scrap that was lying around. Haven't got any video of doing it on the lathe but it was just a matter of cleaning up both ends and the, the outer diameter. And I machined a bush to uh, be a press fit in one end of the uh, body of the uh, hub adapter and bored it to be a good slip fit onto the outer diameter of the mounting boss for the original quill handle. Turned a piece of scrap 5mm thick plate to a diameter that matched the diameter of the, the wheel mounting flange area. Um, drilled the six hole pattern using the DRO on the milling machine and welded the plate onto the piece of uh, pipe. Welding is not my strong suit, but it's good enough. And then blued the finish item. So time to test fit the hub adapter. That yeah, looks pretty good. I'll do one with that. Just go and get a spanner. Snip it up. Time to fit the wheel. That seems to be going on all right. Start another screw. And the one that went on the floor. 
naturally went in the dirtiest, most awkward place to get out possible. Alright, let's tighten them up. Oops, I don't really want to go that tight. Right, let's see if it works. Uh, I guess it does. Interestingly, though it looks large, it is in fact a slightly smaller diameter than the original single knob, uh, single lever handle. Still, I can imagine there'll be cases where I need to take it off and revert to the original. So, quite pleased with the way that turned out. And as you can see, there's plenty of uh, clearance between the back of the quill wheel and the um, lever that's used for selecting the low range. Well, that's the end of my first YouTube video. Thanks for watching.